All right, so residential system. Uh, they said it's not clicking on. That's what I know, it's not kicking in, main level. So they have it off, so here we go. Interesting. So I always wonder, I hate batteries. Okay, we're gonna wait, it's gonna be on a delay. I don't know if you can see the snowflake is flashing. But quite often you're, you're, um, you're off on your 24 volts. And so you don't actually have a thermostat, but you think you do because there's batteries in it. Let me go downstairs, look at the uh, This is what I do. So he does have 24 volts, so we're not off on a water safety or anything. So now, outdoor unit. All right, there's multiple units out here and I'm not sure which is which, but I've got a pretty good indication because this just kicked. So I can see the thermos or the uh, contactors pulled in. But um, nothing's happening out here. So let's see if we have power. What's going on with that? We're off at the breaker, y'all. Let's see. Whether it's outside to in or inside to out, either way, we got nothing. So we're gonna be off at the breaker. So they don't know they're off at the breaker, probably. All right, so what I'm testing is for a, a direct short to ground from the compressor or the fan, and I don't see it. I'm gonna leave this unplugged and I'm gonna go check the well, I was in the house looking at where the electrical room is with the breakers and it's like, None of these units are on breakers in there. I couldn't figure it out. They're out here. So there's outdoor units. So AC1, AC2, and AC3 off. Oof, that doesn't feel right. All right, now, now, I'm pretty sure these go from outside to inside. So let's start with that. Outside, 249. Oh, yeah, yeah. What caused it to trip in the first place? So I Hang know on. there's not a short to ground because I tested that. The fan doesn't appear to be locked up. So unless the compressor is pulling locked rotor amps, I don't see a reason why this should blow up in my face. All right. All right, so everything's running fine. I'm gonna pull and test the cap uh, just to be sure. Man, I'm smelling natural gas. Smelling natural gas right here like crazy right now. Just kind of out of nowhere. Uh, what is, is there a vent here? I see a vent here. Vents are here. I don't feel anything or smell anything when I gave them the sniff test, so. All right, not what I'm here for. I don't see a reason why this would have tripped yet. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test the cap. Just be sure it's not going bad. <sighs> it's possible that if it's dying, we had a hard start issue. But all right, so this is a dual capacitor, which means there's two circuits. So this is the common, and this is the fan. 4.9, and it's a 45 and five, so that's the five circuit. 
And now our compressor circuit. 44.7. Yeah, you're good. Do we just blame a storm? Could be. Don't love it. All right, I'm just going through, making sure, right, if we had a rubbed wire that was rubbed and now it's not, we could get an intermittent short. Just don't want to leave and say it's all good to find out it's not all good. Sometimes it bees that way, though.